This is a desk I'm currently reproducing based on a Sheraton piece at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. There is quite a bit of veneering involved and typically and I typically show the edges of the veneer shapes on the components, but I don't usually apply the actual color and textures as you see here. I've textured all of the piece but left the front drop lid in default face colors that I'll veneer in this video. Here is the orthographic view of the desk and over here next we have the exploded view. This is where I do most of my texturing in this exploded view. Note that some parts and surfaces are left in default colors as they do not show up in the assembled view. But back to the drop lid that forms the writing surface when let down as it is hinged at the bottom edge. Here is a copy of that drop lid in this scene. I traced around the perimeter of the lid and moved the rectangle over to the left then scaled it up by 1.2 times. The extra size gives me some wiggle room when adjusting the position of the veneer. Now we're ready to import the image. And here is the dialog box that appears. Note that I've checked the box used as texture. Then I look for the photo that will form the texture. Here is the photo of the back of the desk taken with an iPhone. There is no finish on the desk yet, so I coated it with mineral spirits to get some color. I straightened and cropped the picture, picture that is here, opened the picture and connect it to the corner of the face, and then resize up to the opposite corner. We can now see the new texture in the materials dialog box. Here it is. Okay, now back to the exploded view and the untextured drop lid. We need to open this component for editing and then click the left half of the lid with a paint bucket and you can see that some adjustment is necessary as this center panel is only the maple burl veneer. Right click to bring up the menu and select texture position. Then shift the texture to a better position. Right click and, and select done. Now we can paint the other panel. We want to have a mirrored book matched arrangement. So right click again and select texture position. And once again right click and select flip left to right. then drag to a book matched arrangement. Right click again and select done. Okay, uh, there's a little decoration around the key escutcheon and this should be a piece of mahogany veneer. So I'll pick, pick another texture, a mahogany texture, vertical grain, to paint that on. So that 
completes the drop lid. The other pieces have been done in a similar manner. And we can now go back to the assembly and see the finished product.